Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 22, today verses 39 to 41. Let's read. Coming out, he went to the Mount of Olives as he was accustomed, and his disciples also followed him. When he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed. So this is Jesus, and he's just entered the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane, it's a, it's a, uh, there was a bunch of olive trees there, and it's, it's kind of the day, the day of pressure, the time, the night of the olive press. Jesus is going to be squeezed there, completely squeezed uh, between the things that the human things that would call out to him and the, the necessities of his divine mission to save us. And so Jesus goes to the Garden of Gethsemane and he brings his disciples with him and he'll be arrested this very night and betrayed and taken away for torture all night long. But you know, Jesus knew all this and came and he came to the Garden of Gethsemane and what did he do? Did he call the police? Did he call 911? He prayed to his father. And so this is something when we're coming to the most intense emergency of our life, what we want to do is turn, turn our hearts and turn, open our hands and turn ourselves to the Father. And he will see and give us just what we need in this time. Did you notice here that it was Jesus' practice? It was he was accustomed to, to come to a place like this and pray. When he was in an emergency, when he had great need, he would pray. When he wasn't in an emergency, he would pray. We should be praying every day. God has the resources and helps we need. Why wouldn't we pray every day? So it's like, you know, if you've got a car and it's a hot, it's you're in the middle of Texas and it's August, guess what? You want that air conditioner and you want it to be running. Well, if you're a Christian, here you are on planet Earth, it's all kinds of mayhem and trouble here. Guess what? You need to be praying day by day. It's like having the air conditioning in your car and not using it. Having the ability to pray to him and not using it is, is silly or strange. So let's be in prayer. Jesus sets the pattern. Always, let's pray to him now, in fact. Father in heaven, as Jesus enters into the Garden of Gethsemane, he's coming there to pray to you. He's going to pray to you at this extraordinary test that he is in just facing. Now, Lord, we have different tests larger and smaller. Many of them are smaller, Lord, but we would ask you, Lord, to help us to turn to you as regularly to prayer as we could do it day by day. Lord, be our helper. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for the example of Jesus, and in his name we pray. Amen. Friend, it's so simple. Many of the things of Christianity are not deep, and, and, and they have to. we have to get a, some kind of a degree or do years of training. Many of the things of Christianity are so simple, a child can do it, and a child can pray. I pray that you will pray, and the Lord will keep you. May he bless you this day.